Hello everyone, welcome to the second edition of Swiss Campus News Program. I'm your hostess Maggie. We'll bring you the latest awesome events taking place in the Swiss community. On the day of October 13, grade 6, 7, 8 students finished their middle year retreat program in Yangshuo, which has been an unforgettable experience for everyone involved. Here are some wonderful activities they've done during their retreat. Last week, Swiss MIP students went on a retreat to Yangshuo in Guilin. Everyone had fun in all activities, including kayaking, rafting, rock climbing, caving, biking, and orientating. Grade 8 arrived in the camp one day before 6 and 7 to develop their leadership skills. In advantages, they had one more day to enjoy the whole program. On the following day, which was the 14th of October, grade 6 and 7 arrived in Yangshuo. And this is where group work comes in. The three grades are mixed up and split into groups of at, of at least 15 people. Each group had separate activities. The next day, they did some other activities such as caving. They explored the caves created by car scenery. It was kind of dangerous but exciting. They learned a lot about stones and how they formed. They also did biking and visited various villages along the road. At night after dinner, they watched fishing, although it was dark and nearly nothing could be seen. On the last day, they did kayaking and rafting. Students learned to build their own raft and competed against each other with their rafts. Everyone was all wet but proud of themselves for the retreat. Wow, what a fun and wonderful retreat for the MIP students. Also, congratulate grade A students for leading them throughout their entire journey. Now, let's hear about some PYP news. On bat night, Swiss PYP students and parents learn about bats, read stories about bats, sing a song, did some bat crafts, and even had some batty snacks. This event was a chance for Swiss parents and children to come and share some library time and learn about bats. During this event, we also had a guest reader, Mr. Tim Michel, who read Brian Lai's book, Bats in the Library. So if you want to go batty for some books, just go to the Swiss Library. What a fun and interesting night for the PYP students. Also, a big thank you to all staff that helped throughout this event. Last week, the MYP had a few sport events going on. Let's have a look at what happened there. On October 21st, a badminton competition was held between Swiss and ISNS. Except challenge rounds, there were totally 15 matches played in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. Swiss won most of the matches and showed their enthusiasm as Swiss athletes. On Thursday, October 22nd, MYP students competed in the annual MYP Swimming Gala. A competition between four equally strong house groups, red, yellow, green, and blue, including all students from grade 6, 7, 8, and 9. During the swimming gala, there were two relays, the medley relay and freestyle relay. Students from grade 9 competed against Swiss MIP teachers. Both female and male staff team won the relays. But we'd also like to congratulate everyone who had put all their efforts in the relay. Maybe next year the students will win. We are so proud of the MIP students that participated and the huge efforts they've put in. Recently, the Great Nine Drama students have been busy bringing life to the new black box stage that we now have in the Swiss Drama Room. Let's take a look at what happened there. The Great Nine Drama students have been discovering ways in which theater and performance can be used to inform and influence an audience. Students have used the ideas of German theater pr practitioner Bertolt Brecht to create original drama performances that can bring about changes in attitude and behavior of both the performers and the audience. The plays were all devised by the grade 9 drama students and included brush and techniques and conventions to help deliver a message. The plays included use of video projection, tableaus, gestures, placards, songs, and choral chants to explore current social issues that touch on our understanding of fairness and development in the world today. Our MIP drama teacher, Mr. Mary, said that Wells drama is still very new to the school culture. It is great to see our students growing and becoming more creative and daring when performing. On last Friday, students from Swiss inquired the 10 main global issues of the world and ended with a wonderful buffet organized by the MIP TA. On Friday, October 23rd, Swiss celebrated International Day in connection with the 17th anniversary of establishing the United Nations. The guiding question for this day were, what does it mean to be a global citizen? 
how can I be a global citizen? In the early years in primary division, students, teachers, and parents were invited to wear a cultural costume, such as traditional dress from their hometown or from anywhere in the world, or sports gear of their favorite team. In the morning, there was a parade of class logos on global citizenship on the field. Each class has created a logo around the guiding question, which was then printed onto flags. Following the parade, there was a class picnic and parent-student learning session in the classroom. During the week of October 19th to 22nd, parents were invited in to share their culture experience in their child's class. Okay, so we're from the Campus TV and we're, we're going to interview you some questions about International Day. Okay, the first question is, did you enjoy the International Day? Yes, I did. I thought it was uh, a great opportunity for all the parents and the children to get together and celebrate their their interests and the differences. So I thought it was very, very good. It's a good thing for the very important for an international school. And so, what did you enjoy the most? Uh, what I enjoyed the most is what I think the children enjoyed, which was the the parade when everyone just walked down. I thought it was a great uh, opportunity for the kids to to share. Um, being with themselves and sharing their time with each other. Okay, so um, did you think it's a really like good opportunity for the kids to learn about like different countries' culture? I think it's essential today that, uh, that uh, children and everyone learns about different cultures because we live in a globalized world where we're not just from one culture. When we grow up, we work in many, many different countries all over the world, depending on, on where we are. And I think it's very important to, to understand that we are part of that international community and that we fit in. No matter where we go, we have our own identity, but we can understand and also enjoy and celebrate the other, the other cultures. That's what makes the world interesting. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. In secondary division, students spend the day engaged in understanding and taking action to address a significant global issue. As part of the International Day celebrations, the secondary PTA hosted a potluck on campus. Secondary students, families, and faculty had a great time sampling a variety of food while celebrating a global community. There were also soapbox debates and video presentations of the work the secondary students accomplished on that day. What did you enjoy the most today? Wow, well, I enjoyed a lot of things. I think I enjoyed the parade. Yeah, I really I think it's really nice to bring all the community together, parents, teachers, and students together to celebrate this. I think that's the wonderful part. And also for the MYP, uh, the secondary students, I enjoyed the, the, the soapbox the most. I love to listen to the students sharing their ideas, their perspectives on global issues. It actually some of the ideas are quite deep. It's beyond my expectation. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, what are the purposes for international? I think as it's called international, I would like to uh, inspire global minds. And uh, this is a good opportunity to showcase what we have learned throughout the curriculum and also to emphasize, to enhance our understanding of how to be a good global citizen in the future. That's uh, the mission of Swiss. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the program and see you next time.